now guys hello thank you for tuning in to jazz that's me um remember to like comment subscribe and share if you care i appreciate you guys tuning in today um i wanted to get into this free britney um movement now during the summertime while everything else was going on so much happened in 2020 um it seemed like Britney was trying to get everyone's attention and um, basically, you know, it, it was like, it was weird because she was putting up messages and she was doing TikToks and people were like, are you being kidnapped? Are you, you know, allegedly, you know, are you, are you okay? Like, does anybody is, you know, like basically, are you being controlled? Like, you know, and she was like, Kind of, you know, I think somebody had asked her if, you know, if you're being controlled or if you're being kidnapped or whatever the case is, um, wear yellow. And I think she wore yellow, allegedly. So, you know, look into it. I, I believe that's the case. I remember my daughter showing me a bunch of things and she was telling me about, you know, this whole um, free Britney thing. And I thought it was kind of weird because Britney's from my generation and she's, you know, she's young. So I, I just kind of find it a little weird that my kid is telling me about the whole free Britney movement. But let's get into it. So basically, um, I know you guys all heard that Britney Spears is under a conservatorship. Basically, when poor Britney lost her mind in 2008, poor girl, she had a moment and, um, you know, she shaved off her head. And I guess she was making all types of decisions, driving with her kid in um, the car, um, you know, basically on her lap. Um, you know, it, it was, it was a bunch of crazy stuff. It was, it just, it wasn't, it wasn't good. It wasn't looking good for her. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to share my screen with you and I'm going to show you what people were freaking out about poor Brittany and everything that she got herself in trouble doing. Um, yeah, so she had basically, um, she drove down the Pacific coast with her, her Sean, um, with her son, Sean Preston on her lap. I don't know what she was thinking. I don't know if she was just in the parking lot. I don't know. I don't know what she was doing, but all I know is that she did it and it wasn't good guys. So this is what, you know, we're talking about here. She had a moment, she had a meltdown and, you know, I think she was going through a breakup. I, I know that she and she and Justin broke up and then she was dating, you know, Kevin Federline, and I know that kind of went quickly, and, um, you know, basically, she probably had, um, you know, in my opinion, I think she ended up with postpartum, like, she had a baby, she was young, stardom, she was all in the, you know, in the, in the limelight, everybody was, you know, all, everything was being scrutinized, everything she did, everything, since she was a kid, so, pretty had a moment, she had a meltdown, and she ended up, getting you know all her like her money being controlled by her dad and it was it just wasn't good this has been like this for a long time so poor girl you know she had a moment and um she shaved off her head just want to share that with you as well This poor girl. We have all been through moments in life. I've gone to, you know, I haven't shaved my head, but I have gotten a crazy haircut. I get it, you know. I get poor Brittany. I get it. There we go. Here you go. This is when she shaved off her hair. And I, you know, I think she went crazy. I think she was just like, screw it, you know. I'm done with it. I'm done with being perfect Britney. I'm done with being the perfect blonde. I'm done with all, you know, I, I'm pretty sure that her hair was part of her image. And, you know, it just, she was just tired of it. She had a moment. It happens. But I don't think to have taken away her money and everything that she has worked for, I don't understand how you could make her work if she's mentally ill. Isn't that abuse? That's just my opinion. And but you, you know, you're controlling all the money, but she was okay to perform and she was okay to do shows and make money for a dad, apparently. And 
but she wasn't okay to spend her own money. Okay. Nobody finds that abusive. I, I just think it's abusive. Like if you're saying that she's mentally ill, how is she still capable of working and making you money? I just don't understand that. It just doesn't understand. It, it, it doesn't make sense to me. So now this video was posted by ET Canada. Okay. Let's check it out. Downplayed the Free Britney movement in recent interviews, Britney Spears fans are still concerned over her well-being. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now Miley Cyrus and N6 Lance Bass are weighing in. Miley discusses Free Britney in an interview with iHeartRadio, and Lance talked about it on his daily podcast. I think that from a, a public's point of view, it would be really hard to kind of um, relate and because I don't personally know Britney that well, I feel like I'm also just another kind of public speculator. And I always kind of check myself too, like, is this my place? And am I just sitting from the outside thinking that I know details that I don't know? Just like I always kind of complain that the public does to me. So I think it's a treat others how you want to be treated kind of thing. And I definitely don't really kind of know her personally enough to know any of the details. Um, but I scream a lot of things at my show. But I also think that, you know, Britney, like anyone else, should have the freedom to live the life that's most authentic to her. Exactly. You know, obviously, she's you know got some problems. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what she's going through. I don't know exactly what her diagnoses are. Right. But online, you know, she's she, these videos are just definitely out of character for her. Right. Mm -hmm. This is kind of a new thing. So something's going on, and I think that's why a lot of the fans are like, "Oh, she's." Exactly. So the videos that I talked about that she released during the summertime, because this video was released August 17, 2020. And he's talking about the videos that she was posting. Like they were really sketchy. Like it was, it was freaking people out. They, people thought that she was being kidnapped. If people were holding her against her will and, you know, fans were concerned and she was, you know, doing secret messages, like, like, like help me, you know what I'm saying? So people were scared. It's being uh, held hostage, whatever, because she's acting so strange. But I think it just could be her medication doing this, where she just feels very happy and wants to do these videos. I don't know. I don't see any danger in it. Me I either. think they're kind of fun and positive. Like you said, Giggles, I'd be more worried if she was disappeared from social media. Yeah. I mean, I know this family, yeah, right? right? And especially I know Jamie Lynn mm -hmm. and her brother. Mm -hmm. They would never want to hurt her sister. And I mean, they wouldn't, and they would right. never go along with anyone taking advantage of her. They just wouldn't. Right. Right. And I think they would be privy to what's going on with their parents taking care of her. There's a team watching this, right? And not only are the sisters, but this team. And remember, there is a judge yeah. looking over all this. So if you're saying all this is, you know, being, it's illegally done for her, then this judge is doing the illegal stuff. So you need to go after the judge, not anyone right. else but the judge. And they have to track every expense that mm -hmm. goes mm -hmm. in and out. So it's not like anyone's taking money from her because right. obviously no. it's all being recorded. I just think we need to trust the system. Um, we can be and skeptical family. and conspiracy theorist all day long, but then you got to use common sense and be like, but do we really know? <laughs> Sorry. Right. Yeah, your face watch. Okay, like, you go, that. you go first. Yeah. <laughs> what is he talking about? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> I... okay i'm gonna cut her off because i think she's stupid for laughing but um yeah you basically get the, get the gist of it you know um let's move on so basically from the new york times um britney released a documentary so the long fight to free britney britney spears hasn't been able to fully live her own life for 13 years stuck in a court sanctioned conservatorship Framing Britney Spears, a documentary by the New York Times, examines what the public might not know about the pop star's court battle for control of her estate. Now, guys, let's, let's see what, what it is that, that we don't know. My client has informed me that she is afraid of her father. Britney Spears' court-appointed lawyer told a judge in November she will not perform again if her father is in charge of her career. And she shouldn't have to. Why should she why should she have to work so hard, keep herself in shape, learn all these routines, you know, rehearse all these songs 
for this man to control her every move and her every thought or her every purchase. Like, this is her money. Let her, if she's going to waste all her money, if they're going to take her for what she has, or if, you know, if she's going to marry somebody and he's going to take her for all her money, then that's on Britney. Britney needs to make her own decisions. Let her be an adult for once. How do you expect her to be an adult if the whole time all her decisions have been made for her? That is not okay. So I just think that they, they need to let her be. So the career of one's music's one of music's biggest superstars and her life in some ways is a, is in a standstill. The country was enthralled with Spears in the 1990s as she suddenly ascended to global superstardom. Then the public seemed to relish watching her personal struggles, which is not okay. People shouldn't people shouldn't feel comfortable with something that they wouldn't feel comfortable being exploited about them either. It's not okay. Um then the public seemed to relish the watching her personal struggles, turning her life into fodder for late night talk show zingers. And, and you know, karma is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, sensationalist interviewers and thriving tabloid magazine and industry. That was a long time ago. These days, Spears is enduring a stranger and maybe even darker chapter. She lives under a court sanctioned conservatorship. Her rights curtailed. She is not in control of the fortune she earned as a performer. My point exactly, if she is able to perform and she's sane enough to do that, then you should give her her money. That is her money. She worked for it. It's not okay. This, this is sick. Spears entered the conservatorship in 2008 at the age of 26 when her struggles were on public display. Now she is 39 and growing number of um and a growing number of her fans are agitating on her behalf raising questions about her civil liberties while trying to de deduce what spears wants and i don't blame the, the fans getting in it because it's like if she can't you know if basically this man is in control of her then who else is going to be her sounding board who else is going to you know who else is going to be who else is going to defend her who else is going to stick up for her she needs you know she needed this a new feature-length documentary by the New York Times captures what the public might not know about the nature of Spears' conservatorship and her court battle with her father over who should control her estate. The documentary Framing Britney Spears features interviews with key insiders, including a lifelong family friend who traveled alongside Spears for much of her career, the marketing executive who originally created Spears' image, a lawyer's a lawyer currently working on the conservatorship and the lawyer Spears tried to hire in the early days of the conservatorship to challenge her father. Look at that. So there's a, there's a few people. Okay. So I definitely want to check this out. I'm not sure where we can see the actual um, documentary, but I am going to see where it is and I will let you guys know I am going to do. Oh, look at the new film is on FX and Hulu. So it can be um, seen on Hulu. And I want to do a um, basically reaction to the actual documentary. So I might do that. Um, I'll see if I can do that this weekend. Um, the new film on FX and Hulu also explores the fervent fan base that is convinced Spears should be liberated from the conservatorship and re-examines the media's handling of one of the biggest pop stars of all time. The New York Times presents is a series of documentaries representing the unparalleled. Okay. So basically, yeah. So I wanted to show you this. When you're ready. Sorry, guys, my internet just lags sometimes, though lagging, which makes no sense. And I'm close to the actual um, modem, so it doesn't make sense. Uh, Britney Spears' conservative ruling was blow um, was a blow to the to the father. So, as you know, they had a court date, and I think it was, I believe, the 10th or the 11th. I think it was. 
Uh, hold on. It says a judge's decision to deny Britney Spears' father increased power over her affair was a rare move that could indicate the um, indicate diminished faith in James Jamie Spears' fitness for the role. Experts said Friday. So basically, I don't. I, I believe the actual. Um, decision was today hmm. um the thursday oh, i'm sorry thursday so sorry the thursday ruling by los angeles county superior court judge brenda penny denied james spears objections to sharing um, monetary control over the conservatorship with a financial institution hmm. okay so um, I guess there's another, um, so Bessemer Trust appointed last year as a co-conservator. It appears that the court lacks some confidence in her father. So they must've found something funny in here. Okay. Said lawyer, David Esquibas, who represented actor Amanda Bynes in her 2014 conservatorship. Ooh, I gotta look into that. Hmm. There must be a level of conflict and some lack of confidence in her father's financial decision-making. Spears Spear 39 is the subject of the recent Hulu documentary, Framing Britney Spears, which portrays her as a powerless subject of the secretive 2008 conservatorship following what has been described as a public mental breakdown. Jamie Spears took over as a sole conservatorship in 2019 following the exit of attorney Andrew Wallet. Britney Spears and her and her friends and, and fans have made it clear that they mistrust the father and that the star has long wanted him removed from the role. Um, his lawyer, Vivian Thorine, said in a statement Thursday that he would work with the Bessemer in the best interest of his daughter. Yeah, because he has to now. There's no other choice. He should have given the, his daughter the choice. He should have, like, he should have done what was in best interest for her. Like when she had that meltdown, he should have got her therapy. He should have done what was better to make her better or to get her better. Like if she has a breakdown, you're supposed to build her up again. Like, I don't understand these fathers nowadays. I just don't get it, but it is what it is. He, he saw money and he didn't care about what happened to her. And in a way he's a weak man. He's a narcissist because he cared about himself. He cared about bringing himself up. Like, if you care about your daughter, then this would not be an issue. It has been, what, how many years now? 13 years, and you're still in charge of her finances? Like, what the hell is going on? You should have given her back. Like, at least tell the world, like, hey, listen, like, she's had a few outbursts, you know, throughout the years. I, I, you know, I'm not sure, you know. Like, at least come with a proof of why you think that she shouldn't be in charge of her own finances. If she can work, then she can be in charge of her own finances. Let her be an adult for once. You have controlled her whole life. This girl has been in show business since she was a kid. Let her control her own shit for once. If she loses all her money, that is basically her decision. Let her be, though. So, um... So the ruling was not a total victory for Britney Spears, but signals the court chipping away at the sole control that Jamie has enjoyed over Britney and her affairs for the past many, many years, said um, Scott Ron, a Los Angeles conservative trust and probate attorney who was not involved in the Spears case. Tamar Armanaki's conservative attorney who worked with the Bynes parents said the judge is starting to listen to Britney. However, Armanac said that the arrangement indicates Jamie Spears will continue to oversee his daughter for some time. I think what the court did was not indicative of removing Jamie at any point in time. Armanac said that I think there is a reason in place why they're keeping Jamie Spears at, as the conservative. It could be as simple as oversight and not overcharging or taking advantage of Britney, or it could be a long term. Based on that undisclosed information, there is a clear reason why she, Penny, still believes it is in, ben it is in Spears' best interest to have Jamie as a conservator. Hmm. Hey, listen, you know, this is a win for her. At least there's, there's something. And she's being listened to after all these years. So, I mean, good for her. Kudos to her. 
she has a $59 million fortune that she's, you know, she's been able to basically build up all these years and she's not been able to, you know, she hasn't been able to make any decisions for herself. That's inc- incredibly frustrated to be an adult and to have worked all your life so fucking hard and you're not able to use your own money. That That's crazy. So the conservatorship implemented it in 2008, left her with no legal control over her estate. Um, she's being, you know, basically supporters think that she was being manipulated, which makes sense. Um, it's just sad. 13 years, 13 years. Now, I don't know if we should play this video or not, but let's see what this guy had to say about the sister, because I thought it was kind of funny because I know she had a little sister that ended up getting, um, pregnant. I think her name was Jamie Lynn, I believe. Um, but let's see what this guy had to say. He basically doesn't trust the sister. So let's just see what he has to say. You guys might be wondering, why doesn't Jamie Lynn Spears fight for Britney's freedom? Why hasn't she joined the Free Britney? I wondered the same thing, guys. I really did. Okay. Lagging once again. Sorry, guys, for the technical difficulties. I do want to see this video, so give me one second. So this is Sloan. So watch this video and I'm going to put his um, link to his video. We're just going to watch a little bit of what he has to say or loads. Very frustrating. Yeah, I thought about the same thing. I, I thought about that. Like, like the mother, the brother, the sister. I'm like, why aren't they coming to her defense? Like, why aren't why aren't they speaking out to this free Britney sketchy? And it just didn't make it. Yeah, we're not. What do you deserve that she ended up getting some of her rights back? Do you think that um, you know, it should have been 13 years for this finally a decision to come to play basically, like t- to basically, you know for her to finally get her life back. Like, I don't know. Um, Britney deserves more. She really deserved more. She was a superstar. She, she, she worked hard for hers. It's not okay. It's not okay that she's going through all this. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share if you care. And um, don't forget to like so we can get the um, video going through the algorithm. And I would greatly appreciate it, guys. Um, Let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching.